to fit architrave to a narrow gap close to the wall. Start off by drawing 5mm guidance lines around the door frame with your set square. Then, using a piece of architrave, put it against the wall along your 5mm lines and then mark where it intersects the headpiece. Put that on, on the side of the board so it's clear. Remove that piece from the wall. Here we extend the line and then we plot our 45 degree angle using the set square. We plot that in the direction that we need to make the cut. Take that up to the minor saw. That was an easy piece because it was the full length. Uh, then we need to work out the second piece, the header piece. Uh, we just marked out kind of a rough piece that we can cut off from a full length so it's easier to work with. You could be more exact if you had less architrave to, to work with. Got a piece we can work out the angle to cut here. So, this is the direction that we need to make the 45 degree cut in, and then we need to make we put it back up to the wall. Sorry, then we need to use the 5mm line and draw that on the base of the board so we know where to make our 45 degree cut from. Again, we need to extend it off the side and then mark it clearly on top using the set square. shows the, the bit we want to cut. So place it back on the minor saw, it's still set to 45 degrees, and chop off that extra bit. So that should show us that, that part is done. Now we need to do the other side. Uh, this one's a lot more straightforward. Again, mark the five mil intersect on the bottom extend the line and then mark the 45 degree cut This is in case the wall's out, which 
it turns out in fact this is slightly narrower at the bottom so we've made a note that that is thick so we're marking here where the 45 degree cut needs to be on the board uh, where it intersects the top piece so we can extend that line where it intersects the top piece and also draw our 45 degree angle. And that should mark out the piece that we need to cut out of the architrave. First of all, we'll do the 45 degree cut. So we cut, cut the board down to the right size. Making it easier to work with. And then using a handsaw, we saw from the top. And if we angle the saw slightly inwards to the board, the piece that we want, we, this will make sure that we've got enough at the front for it to be uh, flush with the wall and then slot in nicely so it is at a slight angle which we'll show you in a second we're just speeding this up to show you so you don't need to watch the full hand saw there we go as you can see it's slightly angled in just to make sure that it the front facing bit covers the wall can't really see behind that, so if there's anything bumpy, for example, or like towards the back of the wall, it should slot in nicely. We tested it fits, so we're going to glue the whole frame together. You can use white glue, or whichever preference you have. Like in this case, it's MDF. It's a two part glue, this one, so you have to spray the one piece and glue the second, and then you need to hold it together. Using zigzag lines makes it easier to bond. Wider area. Stick it together and then proceed to stick the rest of the frame together. Here we're just holding it in place, making sure it's stuck. It is fast drying glue.
pin it into place. You can use whichever method you like for fixing it in place. Here we've just used a nail gun.